The governor of Delta State, Ifanya Koa, has joined other stakeholders in the Niger Delta region to express disappointment at the 3% allocated to host communities in the recently signed Petroleum Industry Act. He insists 5% demanded by all producing states is fair in view of the ecological and environmental degradation faced by these areas. Iken Namichi reports. It is now three decades since Delta State was created by the then military head of state, Ibrahim Babangida. Though the journey has not been without hiccups, but the state has grown in bounds and heights from the first military administration to the present democratically elected government. The state is rolling out the drums to commemorate 30 years of statehood. Today is one event stakeholders interactive forum to mark the anniversary. Governor Okowa used the occasion to commend three former governors and military administrators while reeling out what his administration has done to continue to take the state higher. Topmost on his mind is the Petroleum Industry Act. The 3% are located to host communities from the operating cost of oil companies is unsatisfactory. We are convinced that the at least 5% demanded by most states and other oil producing states is fair, just and equitable in view of the ecological and environmental degradation that the host communities are exposed to. Later, the governor was joined by the Speaker of the State House of Assembly and the Chief Judge in the panel as deltans from different parts probed their leaders and made yes, useful suggestions which were well received by the panelists. Those who say they are repenting from the Boko Haram, we who were born and brought up in Delta are afraid. Allah Jilawal, I must be very thankful for that comment that you made, that the repentance that is ongoing in the North, while it's welcome, we must watch and be sure that is also not a strategy that can take us by surprise. But I believe that this question that they, they have raised now will spur us more way forward by first quarter of next year. I want to assure Deltans that we will start our constituency briefing. I can say authoritatively that the Delta State Judiciary is independent. There are other events lined up for the anniversary celebration, which culminates with the grand ceremony on Friday, the 27th of August. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asa